the Dominican Republic. La Republica Dominicana. Oh, we, oui, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> tell me um, why you went, um, some of the things that you learned um, while you were there, and, and how that, that experience has transformed you. Oh, oh, that, that, that marked me. So when I changed my major in college, I had to take up Spanish. Again, none of this was by choice. Well, I could take up French or Spanish, but I wasn't like you. I took Spanish because French in high school was interesting. But <laughs> um, took up Spanish and was offered to go to the Me to Mexico to the Mexico was offered mm -hmm. a scholarship to go study Spanish in Mexico for two weeks. Um, at that same time, I or a year prior, I went to the Dominican Republic, March 2015. It went really, really well. The company asked me to come back that October. So in the same year, I went to the Dominican Republic twice. First time ever on a plane ride. First time ever getting passport. Really? I'm not kidding. How old this was you? This was 2015. So I was, what, 21, 22 in college? How old are we now? Uh, we ain't gonna worry about that. 20, 20, 19, no, I was 20, 21, 22, you somewhere around there. You were born in 93, there. so you, depending on what year it was, you were 21 or 22. Yeah, 2015, I was in my early, early 20s. And so I went to the Dominican Republic, came back the next year, the University of Alabama, School of Social Work, said, hey, you want to go study so social services in Mexico? Went and did that. And then 2017, I graduated college, had no plan. I'm sorry, 2016, graduated college, had no plan, and just dismissed corporate after graduation and went to the Dominican Republic for six months. Mm -hmm. No plan, just knew I was supposed to go. Ended up going, one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, ended up, you know, working with the same little girls that I worked with in 2015. My very first home apartment was in the Dominican Republic. A lot of my first were there. It was there also that working with those little girls made me question how many kids I really want because um, they stayed with me all the time. How many did you want beforehand? Oh, six. How's that number changed? I'm probably good on one or two. <laughs> yeah. You just cut 80% of that out. <laughs> yeah. But no, and it's also because I'm a little older now, so I understand. Well, I have a niece as well, and that's just a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. But being older now, I understand the importance of being present and the times that we live in as well. I don't know if I'd want to have that many kids yeah. in this world, but back to the Dominican Republic. Yeah, that experience was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life because it expanded my horizons to different people. It helped me understand different cultures better and I always talk about how, like, I grew up hearing people, like, talk about, look at all those Mexicans piled up in the back of the truck. And then living in the culture and being cooped up in a taxi, like, that's their way of life. Yeah. And it, just because it's not mine doesn't mean yeah. I have a right to speak on it. Mm. Um, mm, I love that. Yeah. To mm. just really challenge me as, as a whole. And I'm thankful that my first, my experience there for six months um, was right after college because I didn't go straight into the workforce. Like, mm -hmm. I went back, I came back. Actually, when I came back, I wasn't supposed to be coming back. I was supposed to move there. Oh, wow. So I left all of my stuff there. Where you came back? I know. <laughs> I'm thankful now. But before I came back, they had offered me a job mm -hmm. and left my whole life over there, came back to fundraise the money. And two weeks before I was supposed to leave, they said, we can't pay you for a year. And my mama was like, no. So I had to come back. And even coming back, like, I was depressed all over again because I had an experience that the people I was surrounded by didn't have. And so they couldn't understand why I wasn't doing the things I used to do, why it was hard for me to eat the same foods, like, because my body had grown accustomed to that culture. But again, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Spanish, all of it was an accident that I'm thankful happened.